Today I'm going to walk you through one of the features that makes Pure Project Tools unique. And so you can have multiple organizations um, for a single user. So they don't have to be part of just one organization, but you can be part of many organizations. Perhaps you're a consultant and you're working for many different clients and they all use this. Um, that's a perfectly fine thing. Perhaps you have a side project. Or maybe you just want to break things up differently by orgs of your company that don't want to be in the same uh, group or, ha or necessarily have other people view their projects. Uh, so you notice when you go to www.pureprojecttools.com and log on, it takes you to this page. And uh, when you sign in, you can see that I'm in five different organizations, um, and each organization can have its own account type, so you can have um, a different number of users in them. Uh, so, for example, for Smith Homes, you'll see it has its own subdomain, so it's smith.pureprojecttools.com. Um, when you create a new organization, if you do, um, you can simply go here, enter the name, and whatever subdomain you want. Um, one of the things you should pay attention to is when we create your sub when you sign up for the first time we automatically create an organization for you and it's usually your name um, dot pure project tools dot com or something like that so if you want a custom domain name you can go ahead and you can create your own organization and then you can go into that organization and now all the projects and all the portfolios and everything is unique to this organization um, we can go ahead and we can also manage uh, the organization there's some settings that you have that you can set so for example, there can be different members um, for your organization. You can go ahead and you can invite people to join uh, if you'd like to help collaborate with them. Um, you can make people admin, so only the organization administrators can view this page. Um, this is a page that adds people to the organization. You can also remove people from the organization. Um, you also have access requests. Currently there's none. Uh, when you do have an access request, it'll pop up and you can allow that person. So someone might come to your page where they don't have access to it or to the organization. And you can grant, and they'll say, "Hey, I want to request access." They do, and you can grant them access. Um, I hope you find this useful.